Hey guys, welcome back to the Callus channel. Today we've got another Callus Invitational 4 set for you guys. This is going to be hopefully a pretty good one here. We've got two very experienced ADVers. Uh, we've got uh, Golden Sun down here on the February Stars ult. And uh, on the top here we've got uh, Dan with the Little Johnny Jewel ult. And uh, yeah, this this hopefully be, will be pretty uh, some pretty cool games. Um, obviously, we're no stranger to both of these players. They both definitely know how to play ADV really well. Um, Golden Sun is is having a really strong showing so far this tour. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I would say, uh, and also I think that uh, Dan uh, showed us some really cool builds so far. Um, so definitely excited to see what he brings. Uh, we're just going to get straight into it here. We see a Suicune lead um, for Golden Sun and a Zapdos lead um, for Dan. Probably just going to see um, a switch out there, and we're actually going to see a baton pass. So getting the momentum straight away is great for Dan. We see the Metacham coming in here. Seeing uh, Suicune and Blissey straight away does make me think that this is probably a spinner build. Uh, seeing Salamence as well makes me pretty sure of that, actually, if this is banded, uh, which it is. This is probably a Mag plus spinner build that we're seeing here. Um, from the Golden Sun side, we're actually going to see what looks like a banded... Um, Banded uh, grows common in here, and it's actually going to go for Earthquake into Scarm, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we can be pretty sure that the last two members for um, for Golden Sunside now are probably Claydol and Magneton. Um, we see uh, Blissey in here, and we're going to see another Baton Pass there from the um, from the Zapdos. Metacham is the choice to go into here, and uh, we're going to see what uh, Dan goes for here. In comes the Salamence. And uh, we're going to see if he's got something for this. He actually goes for Vox Slide and he's unfortunately going to miss, which is, that's pretty huge. Um, I don't know if that kills. Um, it's not banded, but I reckon it does a hell of a lot. Potentially that kills for sure. Um, if there's any sweepers in the back that wouldn't have killed Salamence from this range, they definitely would have done after that Vox Slide. Um, so that's very unfortunate. Um, Claydol's going to come on in here. Uh, we all knew that was there. We're actually going to see Metagross come on in here. Claydol's pretty nice because it covers that. Obviously, um... Dan probably doesn't have any kind of spiker. We probably would have seen it come in by now. Um, both Cloyster, um, all of that, um, you know, Scarm, they've all had plenty of opportunities to come in. So, yeah. Um, we see uh, the banded um, Metagross miss, actually, which is pretty huge um, because he's going to lose it to what looks like uh, Adamant, possibly just a very attack-invested doll. Um, and that's that's a very unfortunate trade for Dan. He's actually going to be put in the back here. He is able to get up a sub here and pass it with the Vaporeon, but um, this Suicune has Roar as well, looking like um, Surf West, Sleep Talk, Roar uh, from that Suicune. Pretty standard on this kind of team. Um appreciates uh, Scarm being removed on TSS builds. We're actually going to see a crit here onto the Zapdos, and that's pretty huge because uh, that looks like it's uh, Dan's main way of forcing out Suicune. So we're going to see how he manages to deal with this Suicune now. Um, he does have a Tyranitar as well, which we saw revealed didn't have leftovers, which is very interesting as well. Anyway, we're going to see Brick Break here into Skarmory. Um... That does quite a lot, but uh, it's not going to be enough to 2 KO, which is not ideal. We actually do see Scarm go for a Drill Peck here, so Dan correctly uh, avoids that, and he goes into his left easel tar here. Maybe we'll see a Pursuit Tar with Black Glasses, maybe we'll see uh, a Mixed Tar with a Lumberry. Um, could be something else entirely as well. Dan's been bringing some really creative stuff so far. We see a Crunch here, so potentially, I mean, that doesn't look like Black Glasses damage, though. It's a little bit little bit weak uh, for a Black Glasses Crunch. Um, we do see a Surf there, and in fact, it's Salak Berry, so it looks like Salak Suitar. Very cool set from Dan. Um, pretty reliable, niche way of trapping um, Gengar, which is very cool. We see a CM there from the Suicune. It's probably going to be able to rest off here if we don't see a crit. We don't see a crit from that crunch, and we are going to see the rest here. Um, I don't know if Dan maybe has raw on this. I wouldn't expect it from a Salak Suitar. Um, he might just go for another crunch. He might go to the Medicham and try and focus punch. Yeah, he's only going to get one focus punch, though, and then the Suicune will wake up. So um, we're going to see how he deals with the Suicune. Maybe he can get a crit or something. Um, he has clicked a lot of attacks so far this game and got pretty darn unlucky himself. So maybe... Maybe we'll see um, Dan get his luck back here. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Looking for a crit here with the Brick Break. Doesn't get it. That's unfortunate. Coon's probably going to be able to knock him out here because Metacham is pretty darn frail. Yep. And maybe there's something that can... Oh, okay. Heracross will be able to finish this off. Um, it does, in fact, take sound damage. Yep. 
So it's a mop pair, which makes a lot of sense on this build. I think that's really nice. Um, it really appreciates Medicham's ability to uh, wear down stuff like Banded Mints, for example. Um, if it hit that Rock Slide, Mop Pair um, would be extremely scary to this team at this point. Um, especially if the Banded Metagross, which was looking to support um, as well, had been able to take out that Skarmory or at least wear it down a lot. Um, but he's actually not going to pick up the KO on the Coon there. Going to try and sub down into Salak range. And it's not going to work out because this Coon's actually going to phase him. And now it's going to rest off that damage. And it's looking pretty over to me at this point. Um, unless he can find some really nice crits. Um, it's looking pretty over. We do see a sub from the Vaporeon. And uh, I guess we're going to see a Baton Pass here maybe. Just don't really know what Dan can really do. Um, especially because the Tar's dead to... Dead to uh to sand to um spikes. This has only got one turn left after sandstorm. Um Yeah, so we're gonna see. Yeah, and, and Suicune wakes up this turn as well, so if he doesn't get a crit here, he doesn't. Was that even swarm damage? I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I'm just underestimating uh overestimating Heracross, sorry, but yeah, I think that's over now because uh both of these are dead to spikes. Um Vaporeon can't beat Suicune 1v1. Um, so yeah, um, pretty unfortunate game for Dan there. He uh, he got very unlucky when the Zapdos got crit. Um, he got very unlucky when he missed the Vox Slide, and he got very unlucky when he missed the Mash. I'm maybe not sure whether the Mash was necessarily the play. Um, maybe trading for the Claydol with um, with Metagross, if you're going for a Heracross endgame, might not be... The best decision just because um mop hero is gonna nail its way through uh clay on no problems anyway it might be better just to um you know try and catch uh catch something with a boom instead of uh of trading with clay doll like that but um maybe expected a switch i'm not sure entirely but yeah um yeah unfortunate game for dan definitely there um so yeah, Dan's down one now. We're going to see how he manages to bring this back in the second game here. Um, hopefully, um, we'll get to see a three-game series. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go straight on over to the next one, guys. All right, see you there.